Family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 19th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather. We're starting out here looking at our sun as we did have an Earth-facing solar flare today. M-class solar flare taking off from this sunspot region right here. And it is visible on all maps right now. Lasco 2 showing the CME blast. As well, 304 Angstrom showing the event right here. And as well, that large CME that pulsed at Earth yesterday. So this was in an Earth-facing position. And as you can see, still lots of plasma activated around the surface of our sun right now. As well, we've got a pretty big cresting sunspot right here. Highly active region and has been for quite some time. Big, large plasma filament right here. Stay tuned. Daily updates on our sun and as well, earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Looking at the DRAP absorption map here. We did get it quite a pulse throughout the day today and has been going strong. X-ray flux elevated. Showing here solar X-ray flux. We were up into the M-class solar flare range. Pretty close to an X. So big flare today as well. Reporting three C-class flares overnight. Actually it looks like what two M-class and two C-class solar flares. Geomagnetic activity is elevated today after we did have our solar wind speeds up over 500 kilometers per second. A quick look at Lasco 2 and 3 is showing all of the energy coming from our sun, showing the CME blast from the M-class solar flare right there. And it did reach about halfway around this circle in front of the sun. So that shows that it was in an earth facing direction. Lasco two and three. Schumann resonance for today, strong activity, strong power of 52. Quick look at the map today. So amplitude of 52, quality of 10.6, power 29. Now let's get to earthquakes across the world for the last 24 hours. We did report a very large earthquake this morning. 6.9 earthquake, Macquarie Islands region, south of Australia and New Zealand. I'm sure people in New Zealand might have been reporting, feeling that. As well, some pretty deep earthquakes today in Fiji. And that was after the large 6.9 earthquake, so we're still expecting expecting some residual effects from those deep earthquakes. East Pacific rise. South Sandwich Islands popping off today as well. And it looks like we're swarming in Alaska. About 1,200 earthquakes being reported throughout the region, ranging from one magnitude to four throughout the region. As well, Hawaii seeing lots of activity today. Pretty big earthquake here. Taiwan. Just get the magnitude up here. 5.2. Sorry for that slight interruption. Never fails. <laughs> when I'm doing these lives, but it is what it is. All right, so carrying on here. No other new earthquakes to report since the earlier earthquake update I gave you, the 6.9 earthquake. Largest today, and USGS is reporting over 276 earthquakes now, and that's reporting about 20 in the past half hour. 
So USGS reporting about 280 earthquakes across the map. And we are swarming in Alaska. And my numbers were wrong. There's not 1,200. I meant about 200. Not all of them are being reported here on USGS. Other than that, no major earthquakes to report across North America. Minor activity west of Yellowstone still. And things quieting down across the Pacific Northwest. Now having a quick look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery, and as well reporting all the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Across the world we have quite the atmospheric river stretching across the southern hemisphere right now out of Brazil. Highly visible here on si satellite imagery. There's a large one here and there's a large one in the West Pacific. Just east of Japan heading straight up into Kamchatka, Russia. Still have one tropical cyclone to talk about. It is now named Gina. It was named today, but not projected to be a major cyclone in the future, so and not affect any landmass. Around the world, just experiencing a lot of cloud cover. And some stormy conditions across India, Cambodia. With this long line of moisture. Atmospheric river stretching through here. And the storms just keep grinding up into here. It's like there's a low trapped in the Bay of Bengal. Storms through... Brazil, northern Brazil, daily evaporation rains. And let's get to volcanoes. Looking at Karamiski, Reventador in Ecuador. And tornado warnings popping up across central United States as well. Getting in the mix here amongst the 122 active hazards. Dokono in Indonesia, Sabankaya in Peru, Sangay in Ecuador. And that's about it. So about eight volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 48 volcanoes that are active and erupting across the world. If you haven't seen the volcano activity report, please check it out. Also gives you a little look into where our planets are during this time as we are embarking on a Mercury retrograde starting the 21st. So we're going to see this activity increase, seismicity increase over the next few days with this retrograde. So heads up, my friends and family around the world. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. I want to thank you for watching. And if you like today's video, please give a like, maybe a share. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now.